injured on Easter here at the Venus de Milo. A Warwick man is recovering tonight after a backdrop fell on him while he was in line for Easter brunch at that restaurant in Swansea. The family calls the whole situation traumatic. And the night team's Molly Levine joins us live from Swansea with details. Molly? Yeah, Patrice, the family of eight arrived at their Easter brunch here at the Venus de Milo, but it wasn't long before their plans changed. He was already at the carving station getting his ham that he was so excited about. Easter excitement! Literally within three seconds later, takes a turn for the worst. This partition just came crashing down on top of him. The owner of the Venus de Milo tells NBC10 a stage backdrop fell. It happened while this woman's father, a Warwick man, was in line for his food at the buffet. And next thing I knew, like he was just flat spread eagle on the floor. Um, he was completely unconscious. Swansea police say the backdrop hit three people as it came down. It was completely traumatizing to anybody who was there. This woman didn't want to put her face on camera or share her name out of the privacy of her family, but says her father, who's in his 60s, was transported to the hospital. Like his eyes were rolling in the back of his head. He couldn't talk. He could like, it was just a complete blur. It's unclear if the other two were transported. The menu shared on social media shows the buffet options. Adults eat for $49. Kids 12 and under eat for 19 bucks. The family of eight never getting to enjoy their Easter brunch. It's the last thing any of us wanted. No, we were, we were there for 15, 20 minutes, if that, before we had, we were out the door following an ambulance down 95. Like it was it was just a horrible experience. The iconic Massachusetts restaurant and wedding venue recently reopened at the end of 2023 after a multi-million dollar renovation. The family is hoping the business can put safety first. You know, you have this big banquet hall where you have all these staff everywhere running in every which direction. You know, you need to make sure that safety is absolutely a priority. And she says the owner did call her to apologize to the family. I also talked to the owner on the phone and asked for a comment, but didn't get one tonight. I'm live from Swansea, Molly Levine, NBC 10 News Night Team.